That it is. <laughs> I was ready for it. Well, I'm right there with you. How's life been treating you guys? Life's been good. Yeah. Uh, ready for the weekend. Tired of homework, but. <laughs> Y'all yeah. getting a lot of homework or just a, a lot or a little per each one and it adds up to be a lot? Well, that, um, but we're getting a lot more homework out of kindergarten that we have not used to. Wow. Um, so they, they've definitely changed kindergarten with every kid. They obviously changed it from when I was in kindergarten, but um, it seems like every year they add more to the what the kids have to do in a year yeah and uh i'll throw out an example they brought home a sheet of what we need to help with and it's obviously learning the abcs learning some numbers but we're also learning nouns in, in kindergarten. kindergarten yeah so wow. um that's fun especially because wow. our our son <laughs> is on the younger he's one of the youngest or the youngest um so it's like how do we get somebody that just turned five uh, to start learning nouns? But like he's I, doing good. I did really good with writing and stuff like that. But like when it comes to diagramming, I, I wasn't very good at that. <laughs> like nouns and pronouns, all that. He he been in trouble. We had to teach nouns. Well, see, and, and I can remember when we started learning nouns and stuff because I sucked at it, yeah. and uh, that was third grade for us. Mm -hmm. Now they're learning nouns. In kindergarten, so it's nuts, man. I guess it's all part of you know, uh, learn more in school because I know my second grader is learning more than what I learned in second grade, so um, each one of them is learning more. So, and they're doing college classes in high school now, mm -hmm. so you know, it is what it is. Well, back to the tool world, we do have some new stuff today. I noticed something was a glowing over here, looking pretty cool. It, it is, it's something that Bump Box come out with for us. Um, it's a nice looking? now there's only it depends on how this goes is what we got told they're, they're calling it the bump box thump okay. um, if it does really well we're going to start carrying it all the time if it does not do very well we're not going to carry it all the time so it was kind of like a, uh, a limited edition uh, special order thing for us I can tell you just by the, the amount that was sold at my uh, meeting that I went to, um, it's, it's, it's doing well. Well, with a name like Thump, it's got to have some base to it. So. That's right. So everybody's really liked it. Um, we've only got two left. We just got these in two days ago, and we're down to two. So Holy cow. Um, they're probably not going to make it through the day. <laughs> uh, and the thing about it is, is... The goal was for her to get one, but they're selling so quick, we're gonna have to reorder and, cause she can't keep it if she knows she can sell it. So oh. before somebody says I would sell it out from underneath, no, I wouldn't. Like it's hers if she wants it, but she won't. She won't do it. She'll sell it. So, but we do have those. So, so what's the battery life on them? That's like my thing. Oh, uh, cause let's look at it. You know, I don't know if it tells on this box or not. I may have to have her type it into the. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure it matters about how. Battery life up to 32 hours. No kidding. Yep. It says Bluetooth range up to 30 feet. Uh, five LED mode settings, so uh, you can change the color. Uh, wow. And then. <laughs> That's uh, cool. Now it does say that it does take four to six hours to recharge. So yeah. I'm guessing with a 32 hour battery life, it probably does have a pretty good size battery. So that's probably why the recharge time is like it is. Um, that's, plug it up at night when you're done with it. That's and, doable though, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. a long battery life. Well, and what we got a lot of people talking about is when they go on their boat or they go on their mm -hmm. side by side. Um, you know, we sold the uh, smaller bump box, uh, the Ultra and that was the thing. People were taking them on their boats, their right. side-by-sides. Well, now this one's even smaller. Um, and it's so waterproof. It does have a waterproof rating on it. So it's waterproof, not water-resistant. We always say that because mm -hmm. you got that person that drops it in their pool and it don't work no more. And they're like, what happened? Well, I guess it's 
it's water resistant then, not waterproof that one. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I said that backwards, didn't I? Yeah. Um, what did you say that? So, like, if it rains a little bit on it, it ain't going to... Right, it's IPX6 is, I think, what she just said. I'm kind of deaf, so I don't know. Um, like, all been, that means, it's like French stuff, but it sounds fancy. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's been selling the speakers. The, uh, she is a speaker fanatic. Um, yeah. So, she's been selling the far out of these, and I've just been sitting back and watching. Uh, and I'm not afraid to say that. But... Hey. Let her do what she can do. Hey, right? That's it. Hey, Ain't no need you learning. Somebody if she can do the job. It. Hey, if somebody can do the job better than me, <laughs> I'll sit back. Now, it's, you're right. It's uh, kind of like a computer, right? Like if she already knows it, there ain't no need you taking up that space in your brain to learn. <laughs> that's it. right. <laughs> Something else that you probably didn't notice when you come in, we do have ratchet holders now. Oh, okay. um, you know we've had the pry bar holders. Um, we've right. had the wrench holders. Let's check these out because that's a good thing. So the one that we have on display here is it comes in this box here so that is the part number there all right let me get you guys a part number because this is this is pretty cool it does say it fits both three eighths and a half inch drive ratchet mm -hmm. we have it set up like this some people especially on the half inch soft grip right. that's going to be a little big for the bottom here okay. but what you're going to see people do is you're going to see them drop down and do it like that sure. either either way is fine um my main goal here was put some ratchets on it and obviously i wanted to show y'all both the quarter inch and the three eighths so mm -hmm. i don't have it completely full at this point i am going to hang two half inches on it and we're going to see if it'll ride through the tool truck oh yeah with all the bumps if it'll, if it'll survive that it's, it's that's good. right you know we had the um big pry bar on the pry bar holder right. and it did take two but it would hold it um here i want to see if it'll hold the half inch because i don't think other well there's several people out there that's going to have four um three eighths and fill it up no problem but i want to try it and i may even put four uh half inches up there and see if it rides but i think it's a nice little addition to it that is the quarter there so if y'all are looking for the quarter so it's two different pieces i guess that yep. come, oh well i guess it's more than two it's like the, the they, handle part and then the, yeah. the head part so the this one here comes with the three pieces um two for the two side there and two for this side and i think main the main reason we did it that way because when i first looked at it different I was, lengths handles exactly because we could have done just another one of these right. down here in this style um, but yeah the different lengths so we kind of showed that here um you know because everybody's gonna have different lengths so. sure but, so these just slide in yeah or is and, this magnetic well it is mag it does have magnetic okay. but also um this is something that they're not going to be able to tell on the video but slide it in there and you'll feel how the the tightness of it um oh yeah like it just snatches her down in there yeah it's almost like it's because when i first did it I I, was, i'll tell you how they did that or how i think now this way my brain works this magnetic the north is this way and this one's this way so it pulls against each other because like it it sucks her down yeah <laughs> so, so i mean it's a grip so that was the the cool thing there because when i first looked at it um I slid it on there. I was like, well, that does not feel as loose as what I thought. Right, yeah. So That's I'll, what I was thinking. It was going to be kind of like wobbly in there. But. Right. So as you see, it doesn't, um, it, it locks in, but it's not with the anvil. So my thing is, I want to see, does it ride the tool truck? Because it could very easily right. knock it off. But <laughs> I hit the bump out on your road and they didn't go anywhere. So yeah. they're probably going to be good. Um, but so you probably don't even have to have the this part i really. think no i think that um because what you're going to have is you're going to have some people put this in their box mm -hmm. and then and that's just to keep it level and of. that's just to keep it level but i think it'd be awesome on like your roll carts and stuff yeah. to put it on the side now obviously um if you have to worry about people stealing your stuff then you're going to keep it locked up in your box but sure and that's just one more thing that i can put on my rack and now all of a sudden it's not laying on the arm, falling off, or I'm not mm -hmm. sticking it in the rack. I know, it's, especially when you're working underneath the vehicle, you're laying stuff everywhere. Yeah. Well, you've I've seen you do your sockets on the side of your rack. Mm -hmm. I've seen other people do that as well. Well, now I can have my pry bar, I can have my ratchets, um, and obviously sockets and everything else. Well, I bought that, you know, those magnetic pads that Matco had, they yep. got like different sizes, and that's what I would use. So we've actually got on one that. on our freezer there um yep. 
we have those too. So mm -hmm. those are great. We also have the wrench holder too. So, I mean, technically you're going to run out of rack space before you run sure. out of yeah. um, option. But yeah, and we had the screwdriver holders. So, so we I, can't just blow past the paint ratchet. Like, I was wondering when he's going to say that's that. That's something new there. So let me, let me, let me show you guys that. So that is a limited time. That is going to be for the breast cancer awareness. Yeah. Um, they just got to jump on it this year. So that I'm going to need one of those. Um, but I've got two left. There you go. Um, I'll take the one up there and that way you ain't got to pull it off your okay. display. Yeah, most people... Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, most people support the breast cancer awareness. Um, no problem. We usually yeah. sell... It. We never have pink left over. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say that. Um, whether it be screwdrivers or whatever it might be, we never have pink left over. So. There, it's going to be a limited time, but I'm sure that they're going to probably do a couple batches because what you're going to have, just like with those, you're going to have your first batch where the dealer was like, well, I can probably sell 10. And then, and then you're going to end up selling 10. 20. And then everybody yeah. wants them the first day. Yeah. So that's just one of those things. We'll but. pull that one off the ceiling. That way everybody can see it and get the part number and all that good yeah. stuff because that's cool. Something fun to. Fun, now, um, they did have, um, was it bright chrome or nickel that they had it on? I think they had black chrome too. Mm -hmm. I screwed the pooch and missed that box and didn't order those, so I got to see That's if I can That's cool. fix that. But I'm not going to say I don't make mistakes. That was definitely a mistake. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's cool. I, I should have ordered more of those too, but you know, that's just one of those things. So yeah. I'm going to have to check that. Don't, don't ring me out yet. Cause I want to check that bump box out. Yeah. That's one thing. Um, it does kind of, uh, they, they do have the pink ratchet and nickel, nickel too. So there you go. Um, guys, we'd love to play it for you, but copyright and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, um, go on your dealer's truck, tell them to play it. What's up? Is this the, I, uh, yeah, this is cool. So. There ain't nothing more aggravating than having to dig through your console and you're going to pull out 13 different cords and none of them is the right one. Yeah. And this one. So that is a pretty neat charger. Solves it all. Yeah. It is a pretty neat charger. We'll open it up and we'll show it off. Damn, y'all got like the the best of the best today. What's, what's going on with that? Well. Like everything's been awesome today. We, uh, we've we been waiting on several packages to come in. And we've been getting told by a certain carrier, um, not Maco, by an actual delivery company that for some reason they didn't have enough packages to come to our area. And as you, you know, that wasn't your damn problem. Well, and as <laughs> yeah, you know, they closed the they closed the customer pickup section yeah. here down. Mm -hmm. Well, they wouldn't transfer it to Tupelo, so it's been sitting in a trailer over at a certain place. And uh, for those that don't know, it's called UPS. <laughs> I'll say it. You didn't have to. But uh, so this Jeez. is this is the charger here. It does come with the C. I believe that's C to the USB, and then we do have. So this would be like either end. So you could use it to, to plug in your block, whether it be a USB C or a USB A. Correct. So. Then we do have the different um, chargers here that you can see. Very nice. So it's got a, what is it, an iPhone and a micro, looks like. Yeah. Oh, and it swivels. It does Hell, swivel. that's even better. Yeah, well, in most of the places where you see the problem with the chargers, um, are they're getting right here, right. bent yep. and everything else. Um, the t true test of those chargers is give it to a teenager. If it lasts over two months, it's the best charger made on earth. <laughs> My teenager actually just broke a charger yesterday. Our teenagers, every one of them, it didn't matter if you bought an expensive one or a cheap one or like the name brand from the actual phone, like an iPhone charger, they destroy charging cords. Yeah. Because they just grab them and yank them out. Like, instead of grabbing the plug part and pulling it out, they just grab the cord and... Yeah. I'm like, so, hell, it ain't a lasso. Here, here's here's something on that that would keep them from doing that. Um, you said they just pull the cord out, right? These oh, are these are magnetic. That's cool. So if they do just pull the cord, they are gonna just li and now I read up on this cord 
and it says that you can leave this in your phone. Okay. Um, I don't know how you carry your phone, but it would work in mine. Mm -hmm. I could leave it in mine, like the broken screen. That was done by a kid, too. Um, you think about how much nice stuff you would have if it wasn't for well, children. Well, I break stuff, too. <laughs> you got your phone? So that is really cool right there. But now hers, she has oh, a waterproof case. Now. It would still stick down in there, uh, yeah. but it wouldn't be waterproof at that point. Mm -hmm. So that's not going to be for everybody. It's not. It's not going to work on everything. But you can leave that in your phone, and then when you get back in your truck, it you can just hook it up. Yeah. And then, like you said, if that teenager just pulls, well, she ain't messed nothing up, or he. I don't want to sound. I know what would happen to me if I bought that. And it wouldn't if like just me and my wife used it, but if you put some kids around, the little ends would get lost. Well, and that's the <laughs> that's uh that's the thing here. Um, if I didn't use these, I would take these out for sure. Right. Um, but this would be one I I would leave it in my vehicle if it was me, mm -hmm. um, because that's the number one thing when you get in your vehicle, you're oh, gonna yeah. plug up your phone. But sometimes as an adult. I forget to unplug it when it's in the truck, and I go to get out, and we have this six-foot cord, and I shut the damn cord in the door because the I'm not paying attention. <laughs> so it would help um, for me as well. So, but well, either really way, cool. Man, everything has been awesome on the truck today. Right. Y'all yeah, are either ordering the right stuff or Matt Co's bringing the right stuff to the game. Well, so. I'm going to be 100% honest cool. with you. I didn't even know these were in the works. Um, we had a box on the, the porch that I just happened to kick when we were going to get on the truck. I was like, oh, look, because UPS put it in a different location. Mm -hmm. uh, opened it up, and they were in there. So I can't take credit for that. Um, That's cool. They just sent that to us, so Long I'll take it. Stuff. There you go. All right, guys. Well, you couldn't ask for a better Matco Friday today because <laughs> it was all good. Everything on here. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.